A good choice of proteins for vegetarians is tofu, but it is usually laden with preservatives when you buy it from the market and it is also a little expensive. So today I'm going to show you how to make tofu at home with a pantry staple. Let's see how to make chickpea tofu. Just like soya beans which are usually used to make tofu, chickpeas are also a very good source of protein. Apart from that, they are also a very good source of fiber and healthy fats. They do not have any taste of their own. They are pretty versatile and can be used to make sweet and savory dishes. That's why you can easily use this to make tofu at home. When I started with them, they looked something like this. And after soaking overnight, they have almost tripled in size. We're going to blend this in a high speed blender. The soaked chickpeas have been drained completely of the excess water and I have washed them as well. I'm going to start by pulsing the chickpeas without any addition of water just to break them down. Let's have a look inside. We'll just scrape down the sides and pulse it till it is finer. Once it looks like this, we're going to add in water. So to 100 grams of dried chickpeas that have been soaked, I'm adding in 250 ml of water along with one and a half teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of haldi powder because I'm going to be using this for my Indian recipes. I'm going to shut this and blend it once again. Let's check it once. You can still see that it's a little grainy, so I'm going to blend this again. This is exactly what I'm looking for. There are no grains left anymore. It looks like a pulp. Now it's time to turn this liquid into tofu. We're going to cook this in a pan on medium to low heat. As we cook this, it's going to turn into a paste and thicken. Cook this while stirring continuously. As you can see, it has already started to thicken. So make sure that the flame is medium low so that it doesn't stick to the pan and burn. Using a spatula, you can also remove anything that has been stuck to the pan. It's very simple. Mash if you see any lumps. You will also notice the color of the turmeric coming out as we cook it. If you like, you can also add in flavorings while making the paste like ginger, chili, garlic or herbs of your choice. Instead of using raw chickpeas, you could also use besan flour to do the same thing. As you can see, it has thickened quite a bit and it's falling off in clumps from the spatula, which means it is ready to set. I'm going to switch off the flame and prepare my setting pan. I'm using a glass dish today. I'm going to add a little bit of oil and brush it to make sure that the tofu comes off very easily. You can also set it in a plate if you like. Once properly greased, you can start adding the cooked tofu mixture. While it's still warm, make sure to even it out. Use a palette knife if required. You can also brush your palette knife with a little bit of oil. The longer you cook it for, the firmer your tofu will be. Now that we have set it in our pan, we're going to let it firm up for about an hour. You can also leave it at room temperature. It's been an hour, the tofu has set completely and it has released from the sides as well. Let's take it out on a plate. And it has released very well. I'm going to clean off the sides just to make sure that it looks very nice. And now we're going to cut this into cubes. So first I'm going to cut it right through the center and then into smaller cubes. Use a sharp knife to do this so that your cubes are nice and clean. Our protein packed chickpea tofu is ready to use. You can use this directly right now or store it in the fridge for three to four days. I'm going to show you a quick and simple recipe using this chickpea tofu. So stay tuned to Rajshree Food for that. This is Chef Pomaka signing off.